One early morning in 1856, a young girl named Nongawose went to the fields close to the Kaha River to chase away the birds. There she heard strange voices and saw vague apparitions. The voices told her they were the ancestors of the Kosa people. They had an important message for the Kosas. Tell the people to kill all their cattle, to burn all their crops, and start living again according to the old tradition. When the day will come, the special day, two sons will come up and the dead will arise. The Kosas will be as strong as before. The white men, the false prophets, and the unbelievers will be driven into the sea. After the Kosas had killed almost all their cattle and burned their grain, the great day came. The people waited until daybreak for the two sons to rise. They waited and waited. Nothing happened. The sun came up as usual, a normal summer day in February. The Kosas were enraged at Nongawose. The British government arrested her and imprisoned her on Robben Island. We will always be a, what's the right word? So it's like, oh, you know, will always be ha huh, about this story of Nongaus. It will never be a believable, it will be unbelievable. We'll always be amazed or fascinated or, you know, by the story of Nongaus.